Ask them all you like, but these hens will only lay one egg each per day. Fine when demand is normal, but not at times like this. Oh, it is crazy, Peter. We were getting an extra 150 customers a day at one stage before uh, online customers. Uh, we've ended up having to close the, uh, the ordering system down. The market was in balance, and then all of a sudden the customers went crazy and pre-bought. Um, so we've got to let the hens catch up now. Alongside that rise in demand for our farm produce, a fall in supply of staff. The agriculture industry has done its sums and says taking out foreign seasonal workers who currently won't be able to get here and allowing for absence through self-isolation, Britain's farms could need 80,000 of us to take jobs on the land. If you want uh, some exercise, if you want to get out and about, then actually this may be a real opportunity for people uh, uh, to get out in the fresh air, stay two metres apart from each other, um, but actually have some rewarding job. And, and certainly in that fruit and veg sector, there will be big opportunities going forward. Everywhere in the country, the process of taking over from the men continues. The original land army was vital in wartime to replace the workers who'd gone to fight. No one thought we'd hear the term again, but this new, very different version is seeing people who've recently lost their jobs and university students sign up. So I'm not really doing this to make money, sort of to do my bit to make sure that um, there is food security across the country. Um, obviously, I'm only playing my small part in that, but whatever I can do to help, really. There were already concerns within agriculture that Brexit, remember that word? would mean more Brits having to be persuaded to take seasonal work in the fields. Now something that no one saw coming has forced everyone's hand. The reassurance from farmers is, we have the food, we just need to get it from farm to fork. Peter Lane, 5 News, County Durham.